Hello and welcome everybody. Today we have another chip first impressions. This set of chips right here is a sample set. I paid for this with my own money, ordered it from BR Pro Poker because I'm interested in chips. I should say my family is interested in chips. So we had family over for the holidays. And so I showed them the, the sample set and they all freaked out except for one individual, you know who you are. He's laughing right now. He's like, ah, I'm so much better than those chips. I'm calling you out. Yeah, so what? And everybody loved these. They're like, oh my gosh, it's Star Wars themed. Look, it says Card Wars, like Star Wars. May the odds <laughs> be with you. I was like, uh. I'm not sure about this. What? One of the reasons why I ordered this was because of a patron. I listened to patron. I, I try to listen to everybody, but patrons especially was like he had a set of these and there apparently it was very popular and I was like at first I was like ah yeah I'm not going to review those they're just it's just another ceramic set it's just another design for another ceramic set but I keep getting requests for these and my family loves them Ugh. so now they're actually on the table no pun intended to be purchased they've been around for a while so before we dive into some of the, that discussion, I am going to grab a deck of cards here and we're going to play. We have our cut card here, Poker Chip Forum, long time supporter of the channel, patron. And we are going to, look, there's another cut card in here. Oh sweet, it actually comes out. All right, well, we're going to, sorry, I just have to make sure that this is squared away. All right play a quick hand here. So, everybody, pause the video if you don't already have your deck. We're going to play a hand, so deal yourself two cards. We're obviously not playing for anything, people, because we could have all the exact same hands. All right, it's just YouTube. It's just to see how things go. This is called the Weave Shuffle, as far as I know. People call it different things. I call it the Weave Shuffle. And, going to put it on that so this person sitting to my left can't cheat when I, I'm not going to flash the bottom card. I've seen Casino. All right, so what are we doing here? Just me and Jane Doe. Not that I love Jane Doe. I lo love her. That's the word I would use. All right, should we play blind or should I actually look at my cards? All right, Jane Doe. So we are going to pull in a surprise. Are you guys ready for a surprise? What? There's a dealer puck that matches? You're kidding me. Uh, who's dealing? I don't know. There are no betting cycles, so it doesn't even matter. Jane. All right, so we're going to flop here on this crowded little table here. Okay. Just burn through these. Let us know what you had in the comments below. If you had those pocket twos let me know because I beat her because I have this ace right here who says hello I'd like you to meet my little friend hello little friend how are you so I totally dominated her face how does it feel Jane Doe to be publicly publicly lose a hand which is actually very common I think if you have a table of 10 I think only one person wins so what's that 10 percent anyway we're not going to dive into that. Let's dive into let's dive into these chips. Okay, so first off, BR Pro Poker uh, has really great quality. I have some Tiki Kings that we actually played over the holidays that have proven to be very durable. They survive the kids. They survive my family. They survive food. They are easy to wash off. You know, I, I you know, New Year's Day sitting there with some of my Tiki Kings in the sink. Spray on. I we use a. Uh, Dish soap, dish soap, little scrubber, and and on a side note, so we put dish soap into a little spray bottle and fill it more like ten, like maybe what five, ten percent soap, and then the rest of it's just water. It's also great at killing bugs. But yeah, so I found myself on New Year's like scrubbing, scrubbing these with the, you know our dish brush and dish soap and not these, sorry, my Tiki Kings and. They came out really nice. We let them dry. We just dried, you know, paper towel, and then they looked the same. They look exactly like a chip. So very easy to clean. Uh, these these chips have proven to be very durable. Uh, somebody in one of my last videos, 
I talked about the slow play ceramics. Someone was complaining about the durability. I have not experienced that. I let my family loose on that. I've, I actually was throwing them around and like dink, trying to chip them. And on the ones that I had, I couldn't get them to chip. So let me know in the comments below, uh, durability of ceramic chips. What brands have you had problems with? Because I, you know, as far as like card wars go, these seem of the same quality as my other BR Pro chips and they don't seem to, to chip easily. I can't break them in my fingers like China clays. I crank down as hard as I want on that. Man, I'm getting old. <laughs> my fingers are hurting now. All right, so so yeah, I mean, a durable solid chip. So let's make sure that this is what we expect. We have our scale here, which, you know, every good dealer need, chip deal, every good poker card reviewer needs. Are we in grams, not grains? It's funny when it switches to grains. It's like, who measures things in grains? 9.4, uh, that's, you know, pretty consistent from what I found. They have a good weight to them. They're not too heavy. I like the 10 gram. To me, the, the sweet spot's a 10 gram. Once you get to 11.5, 12, you know, it's starting to get a little heavy. 13.5 is, you know, too heavy. For me, it's all, it's all opinion based, okay? So for me, a little too heavy. So these have a good weight to them. You might as well pull out the digital calipers. All right, let's see. Make sure this is zeroed in millimeters. What do you guys think? 39? Yep, 39. 39. You know what my, one of my favorite chips are? Let me show you. This brown one. The non-denomination one. It just says Card Wars on it. But look at the color in the background. It looks very Star Wars-y. You know? It's almost like kind of a, like a cloud city, kind of like gritty, like Mandalorian kind of like setting. And yeah, gosh, I just really like the Star Wars IP, you know, and obviously these are card wars. So now because I made the mistake of showing these to my family, they're legit on my radar for things to purchase. Thanks a lot. So I don't know, like looking at these just real quick. Are the one in a hundred too similar, you know, looking at them from the edge? Because there's kind of this like gradient pattern here. Are they, I don't think they're that similar, you know. Uh, I don't see any other, when I was looking at these, I didn't see any other color problems. I like it how there's no denominations on them. So, you know, because we have some, so there's a family, there's, all right, so there's some people, let's just say there's some people in my family who, are staunch non-gamblers, it's a problem. You know, my dad kind of had, you know, you could say a gambling problem. He loved, oh, anyway, so we, so some of them don't like the idea of encouraging gambling. And so they were showing their kids, my Tiki Kings. Was it my Tiki Kings or was it my, it was my uh, custom set from BR Pro Poker, my hobby fillet custom set. They're showing them the denominations on my custom set and like, look, there are no dollars here. These are points, we're playing for points. We're not betting. We're playing points and their kids were like, oh, okay, yeah, this isn't gambling. And so they got it. And, you know, these have the same thing. And I like that because this 50 could be a 50 cent, you know, look, 50 cent, you know, $1. And so you build, you can, it's easy to build like micro stakes with things like this, you know, and then you can have 10 cents, you know, two, you know, whatever you want, one cent, two cent, five cent. 50 cent, you know, dollar, 10 cent, 50 cent, one dollar, you know, it's just, to me, I the more I look at this set, the more I'm really impressed about how versatile just the stock denominations are. And if you have color preferences, like you want to, you know, and they'll, they'll semi-custom anything for you. You want to put a one, you want a blue one, get rid of this one, <laughs> puns everywhere there. That's fine. You know, you can do a one, five, 25 real easily. 100. That would be a good looking set right there. I would probably do that over this. Eh, my opinion. It's pretty close. Whatever, whatever you like. The 500 is beautiful too. Look at this like writing around the edges here. And I like it how they don't have edge spots like that have to be aligned. Like with 
so many clay chips like in Vegas. The edge spot goes from this side across the edge all the way to the other side. And ceramic chips for a long time mimicked that. I like how these don't do that at all. Just as card wards here, there's a little like, like flourish here. I'm not sure if that's gonna focus. A little flourish right here, a little embellishment. 500 the domination. I mean, it's just beautiful. I really like how these came out. They're really stunning. It looks like a foreign, you know, like a Star Wars language there. And I like how it progresses, like the shapes right here, this kind of rounded star and this medallion and then this jagged, you know, look how awesome these are. Here's kind of a floral petal shape overlapping, what are those, pentagons? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. The overlapping pentagons. China star, Chinese star, kind of little pill shaped thing. I mean, every one of these is just absolutely, here's the cog shape with the one, with these big bold, I like them. Is there anyone that I don't like? I'm looking for one that I don't like. No, I like that, I like the, these look like star clusters to me, which is, you know, more stars here. Yeah, like some sort of nebula or something. All of these seem fine. What's wrong? <sighs> the price, maybe? Maybe you don't want to spend, what, 60, 70? Is it 70? Are they still at 72 cents or has inflation caught up to them? What, maybe they're a little expensive? Maybe that might be the biggest downside, but I'm struggling. If you don't like denominations, that's an issue. You don't like ceramics, that's an issue. I can't. See, this is what this is the problem with having too many goods. It's like the golf world. It's like you want to pick a golf driver. It's like every one of the major manufacturers make a really good driver. And so how do you pick? And it's the same thing here. It ultimately comes down to what you like. So let me know your thoughts, feelings, jokes about card wars here. I mean, it's been around for a long time. I remember seeing these years ago. So I'm sure many people out there have them. I I like I like them. My family likes them. Are we going to replace the Tiki Kings or my custom set? Probably not right away. Maybe ah, they're just going to go out and buy them without me. Either Yeah, hey, family, go out and buy these. That way I don't have to. Ha, ah, there's a solution. Put these on your wish list. Excited to read your comments. As usual, huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, it does. It means a lot to me. I offer general support over there. Your support goes to funding this channel and it actually keeps my morale up maybe more than anything. It's just like sometimes it's hard to keep things going. It's just like, ah. I got so much to do with family and everything else. Sometimes YouTube just takes the back seat. So thank you to my patrons. You can also support me by visiting my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe.